a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And getting ready for what should be potentially thrilling action here. It's Brazil taking on Liverpool. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Ronaldinho. Pelé. Hakimi. Son. Gakpo. Didier Drogba. But on you go, says the referee. Advantage. And Pele won the ball. Hakimi. Now, who can he play it to? And can they forge ahead? Oh, right in the nick of time. Moving forward effectively. Can they take the lead here? And there it is, 1-0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Goal. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Number 10. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Well, they get themselves level here. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, another corner following on from the last one. Well, not the best clearance. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Well, here it is again. And when you clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. They don't do that, it's a poor clearance, goal. and suddenly the goal. ball's in the back of the net. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Michael Balak, Luis Vigo, well he's certainly not alone. Miroslav Klose. Klose. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. And taken short. Balak. On to close it. The timing was perfect. It had to be. Balak putting in the challenge. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Coming up half-time, don't forget, we'll be having the lucky raffle. And also, don't forget, the lucky program draw. Away they go one. again. So Second half programs. is underway here. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. Must take the lead here. Son has done it. And what we have seen is a master finisher at work well here it is again he goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder and then it's a wonderful strike from son he hits it with power he hits it with pace and he hits it with accuracy what a goal that is and so brazil get the game restarted disappointed to have conceded can they come up with a quick response miroslav close it is it going to be a back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted merely minutes. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. And with play stop, they will make the change now. So back underway, dead level, 2-2. And coolly done in the end. Balak. And winning it back. And a tidy tackle. Now, who can he play it to? 
could take the lead. The referee has let the advantage. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no goal stopping him there. The what Let's a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Michael Balak. Van Basten. Figo. This could finish it. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, here it is again. And it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. So the card scoreline, 4-2. And a tidy ball. A very timely interception. Under real pressure here. Michael Balak. Close. And full time, Brazil have prevailed. That's the big story here. Stuart, Thanks for coming your thoughts on their performance? Well done. They were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance.